Hey YouTube, um, this is uh, the Hawks Den. I just got back from uh, attending a fair not too long ago, uh, but um, that's not really the topic of this video. Um, I unfortunately have some bad news in regards of one of my invertebrates. Sadly, my uh, Asian horse scorpion, Akuma, uh, passed away. At first, I thought that it was laying on its back and trying to molt because I saw it move its tail just slightly, but, but um, I waited uh, Today, in the like early in the morning, I went in my office and I, I checked on Akuma, and uh, there has been no movement. I took the cork bark out of there and literally just just left him there. Hopefully, hoping that he would get back up and or he would molt. That wasn't the case. And he's been, he's literally like stiff. So, yeah, I'll show you real quick. All right, well, here's a Kuma. Literally, he was like this yesterday, last night. Like I said before, he slightly curled up his tail, but. This morning, I went over there, I went over to the office, I checked on him, and literally his tail was literally straight, and he did not move a muscle. I'm going to assume that he died of old age, or perhaps the enclosure that I had him in, which was a critter keeper, it had too much ventilation, and just dried out the enclosure far too quickly and plus he might have died from dehydration which and if that was the case I feel extremely bad or it's possible that he died of old age but uh, I'm, I could have sworn someone on the channel commented on my scorpion saying that he had a lot of growing to do It's very sad seeing him like this. So, I feel like I didn't really get to have much experience with him besides seeing him eat, which I fed him two roaches uh, last feeding video. So, I, I'm going to assume that for sure he did not die from starvation could have died from dehydration or lack of humidity or he might be at a certain size that he just got old he was really old and just uh, got just died I'm hoping that's the case and but still it makes me very sad seeing him like this I'm trying to figure out whether or not to try and preserve him. I may take like a some type of uh, vial or uh, oh shoot, sorry. Something to like preserve him. Uh, put him in a, in a little container full of uh, alcohol. I think uh, Exotic Lairs uh, did something like this, but I would have to do a process because I'm not gonna try and do a taxidermy and try and cut him open and do all that stuff because I'm gonna end up ruining his body but yeah I won't be able to feed Akuma or watch him grow or anything this is the end of his life 
sad. And he hasn't budged one bit. I literally held him in my hands and did not flinch nothing. So. So I have a critter keeper that is without a uh, animal to put it in. So I'm debating on whether or not I should rehouse one of the animals in the critter keeper, but the only one that would be able to live in it that's at the right size is the Apinopalma Simani. But I was thinking of putting the uh, vinegar rune in it, but I'm gonna pause here and I will show you the uh, critter keeper and what I should do. All right, well, here's the uh, critter keeper that I held uh, the scorpion in. I'm trying to think whether or not I should try and put one of the invertebrates in here, and if I should, which one? The Apinopalma Simani would be able to fit in here, but it's already established in an enclosure. But the animal I was thinking of rehousing into the Critter Keeper is uh, this little guy right here, which I had to temporarily put it in here for the time being, which is my uh, Vinegaroon. My female Vinegaroon uh, monster. Now, With how big she is, I don't know if that would be like too much space. If that would be too much room for it to be in. But at the same time, I feel like Monster would be able to grow into the enclosure. I just gotta clear out the substrate in here, wash it out, put some new substrate in there and uh, just decorate the living crap out of it and give a uh, monster some places that he can move around or she can move around in because I believe it's a female after I did the reading on it with the pendulum. But yeah, that's what I was thinking. That's what I was thinking of doing. There's, there's monster. because I really don't want to leave her in this excuse of a uh, container. I literally had to take her out of uh, her old enclosure due to my uh, Grumstola poker piece. Uh, getting to the point that it is getting too big for its recent enclosure, so I had to do a switcheroo. And, but I want to try and rehouse the vinegaroon in here. I think it would work. You guys let me know what you guys think. So, yeah. So, that pretty much the uh, that was pretty much it for this video um, like I said before like in terms of what to do with critter keeper and possibly putting the vinegar rune in it you guys let me know comment down below and if not the critter keeper what type of enclosure would you guys recommend the enclosures that I have, I feel, would be too small for it to be in. So, yeah, just let me know. Otherwise, uh, I gotta keep an eye out for any updates on my availability, because next week 
I am going to attempt to attend the uh, uh, Kalamazoo Reptile Expo. Literally going to my first uh, Reptile Expo, checking out the place and see what uh, they have to offer and probably uh, get some new, uh, some new critters. But anywho, um, this is the Hawks Den signing off. You guys have an awesome day and um, I will see you next time. Bye.